How's it going guys? My name is Mike and today I've teamed up with Lick to talk to you about my favourite audio effects to use in my edit on iMovie. Alright, so in the timeline I've actually split up the audio track just to show you the difference and let's listen to the track without any effects. Now, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is my absolute favourite effect and that's the muffle. I use it to enhance my slow motion footage and I also find it can be subtle but effective when paired with some speed ramping. So register on an emotional level. First. It is powerful at creating that detached from reality sort of effect that just sounds like you're almost underwater and it's super easy to apply. So once we've selected our audio layer, come into the audio effects panel and just select the muffled effect. Here you can hear the difference. So yeah, this is an effect I use all the time and it's just super easy to apply and you can use it in a number of different places. Again, slow motion sounds really great. Say you've got some audio in a different room, it sounds good. It's just my favourite effect. Alright, so my second favourite effect or group of effects is actually the room sound effect, especially when wanting to add diegetic sound and wanting that to reflect the environment that I'm in. Put simply, uh, say your audio occurs within a narrative, say it's a, a radio playing in someone's car, it's always worth thinking about how you can add that extra layer of depth by affecting and changing the sound uh, to, to, to reflect those environments. So let's have a listen to how it sounds. You can just picture it, it's so subtle. Your characters walk through a party and you've got uh, walking through different rooms with different types of music playing or different levels of music playing. Actually tweaking the audio to uh, reflect this is such a subtle thing that the viewer will pick up on, but it'll go a long way. And you can change the style and the size of the room within iMovie. I like working mostly with the small and medium room, but you know, you've got the large and the outdoor sort of cathedral style sound there if you want it. Let's listen to that as well. Again, this is something to definitely get creative with, but it's something that will subconsciously go a long way with your viewer, so worth doing. By the way, if you are looking for that killer track to use on your video, then definitely check out Licked. Licked is a chart music licensing platform that allows you to use popular songs in your videos claim free. You can get a discount on your first track in the description below, so check that out. Okay, so the final effect, if you're looking to replicate something like a radio or a stereo, then I actually much prefer the telephone sound effect than the default radio effect. It sounds rather nasty and I'll let you listen to that now and make up your own mind. I just dislike it so much. So if you actually switch this over to the telephone effect, you can, you can hear that it's much cleaner. I just really like the subtle nature of this. And yeah, again, you know, just the, the, t the tip is if your audio is changing due to some surroundings, you know, your character's doing something or, you know, you're doing a vlog and the audio changes, it can just be really nice to actually apply these effects. You know, if it's coming from a stereo, then play around with the settings and see what you can do. It's something that goes a long, long way with the viewer. So let's hear how it sounds now. Having your audio subtly changed throughout a video is just such a nice way to actually steer your viewer through it without it all sounding repetitive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel for more similar tutorial content. And if you're on the hunt for a track for your video, you can license any of the songs from this video, plus many more on Lick. So check that out, link in the description.